watching. Please subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and remember to enjoy the show. Hello and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock with Takahitsu Gaming. This is Takahitsu speaking, and let's see. So today we're kind of building up where we left off. We have uh, basically gone and saved a bunch of stuff. Um, most of our colonies are actually in the yellow now. That's that's a good sign. Let's see uh, what's going on over here. Okay, so we need to build up some more battle stars. It's an unfortunate issue that we're having. Okay, what is this? This is the third reach fleet. Um, okay. I do believe that the Daedalus needs a battle star, which puts us up at... So, 1550. Put that in there. Puts you at 51, so you need a Battlestar and a, one of these Artemises. Okay. So you're going to be transferred over to the Daedalus. Yep. Bamsis. So we got a fleet over here, just kind of doing who knows what. The uh, Capricorn Guardians just finished their ju jump, so let's start off by making sure we're building stuff. We got a Battlestar. Alright, that's pretty much that turn. Looks like absolutely nothing happened. Um, that's interesting. You almost have enough to start another battle star. Frigate is ready for orders. Okay, there we go. And this frigate—it says it's a frigate. Okay, so an adamant is a frigate class. We're gonna make the Viper MK2. We're gonna transfer you over to the Third Reach. Yep, blam. So actually, the Third Reach. Now that I'm looking at it, is probably not gonna want to be that big. Uh, it has, no, it will, it needs to stay that big until we get our next, uh, battle star going, or next upgrade for them. So let's look here, for example, the third reach, he's over here. I do not have the points to make him a bigger admiral, so we're going to, or lieutenant colonel, whatever, the rank him, promote him up. I'm not really sure 100% how the battle star ranks work. If you look, the closest one is actually over here with the Scorpion Stingers, but I'm not promoting that one either. And um, that's because, quite frankly, we're just not ready yet. Hope Stinger, is that male or female? Or Hope Duff? Female, okay, yeah, I was right. The picture just looks slightly awkward. Not trying to be sexist or anything, it just looks a little awkward. It's kind of hard to tell. Alright, so let's build ships. Let's go ahead and start us up on the next Artemis Battlestar class. There are so many ships in here now. Alright, Artemis, there we go. Blam. Let's end our turn one more turn. Okay, we got Cylons coming in over here again. We do have a Battlestar up. That will be transferring over to our Daedalos. Let's see what we got for this mission. Might want to tidy your desk there, Commander. Kane is bringing an unexpected guest to the CIC. And this is the Executive Operations of Colonial Fleet. Commander, this is Prince Stefan, Duke of Hadrian, of the Royal Family of Vergon. Just Stefan. There's a time and a place for pleasantries. The middle of a spiraling war is not one. So, straight to business. Vergon Intelligence suspects an attack on the Leonid V-Day celebration. We trust our sources, but they have not yet gathered specifics on how the attack will proceed. My personally being here should imprint upon you the severity of our concerns. Vergon saboteurs will be blamed. The Macoran Alliance will deviate into squabbling and infight. We require the impartiality of Colonial Fleet to intervene on Vergen's behalf. Commander, you will send an investigative force to monitor the event. Be prepared for anything. The last thing we need right now is a diplomatic fiasco with the 12 colonies watching. Alright, so that looks interesting. That is our side mission. We have our main mission that over here. Cottle's crew says they still can't pin down exactly what the Cylons used in these attacks. 
I think the Cylons explicitly targeted Sagittarian because they expect Colonial Fleet to hesitate before breaking the embargo. They won't expect a quick retaliation. Adjunct ruling on a confiscation operation made it through Corm 20 minutes ago. We've got the green light from Kane to enter Sagittarian space to retrieve samples of the chemicals used in the attacks. All we've got to do now is jump inside the Sagittarian border, hijack the Cylon chemical weapons, and get out before we cause a political disaster. Easy. Alright, so we'll get whatever our Minotaur is. I'm not sure. And an EMP generator plus some Tillion and requisition points. And in this one, um, not that. Want to tidy your desk there, we get Commander. the Assault Raptor Kane Blueprint. Okay. An unexpected guest yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't need you to keep talking. And this is the executive operations of so let's Fleet. go ahead and tell... Commander. We're going to go ahead this and move the Delos Stephen, over here. Duke of Hadrian of the Royal Family it does of have a free Just jump on Stephen. it. There's a time and a place for pleasantries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The middle of a spiraling All right, let's go. Is not one of them. Oh, and look at so, that. The Capricorn Guardians us. are going to be busy now. So let's go, go ahead in. and proceed. All righty. So our fleet looks all kind of disorganized right now. So we're going to take you. Um, I, actually, wait. I'm going to stick you here for a moment. So let's start with the Bastet. You are staying the top dog. We're going to stick you up as high as you can go. The Belgrade is next. Right there. Then the Dune. Then the Montpellier. Then we have the Saratoga. Okay. If you do this carefully, you can actually stack up six of them at one time, which is kind of cool, but not really all that necessary. And then we're having the Battlestar over here. And there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and head up here to the Battlestar. I didn't get the Vipers ready yet. We want a Viper. Um, uh, I'm half tempted to do Raptors as well. But I think I'm just going to do all Vipers for now. Actually, yeah, let's go ahead and get a second Raptor in there. And the la the new one is already set. All right, here we go. Jump in three, two, one. Jump complete. Plenty of civilian marks. No hostiles showing Andreas. I've got Leonis officials asking why we're here, but nothing else out of the ordinary. All right, so at this exact oh, there's there's a actual ship over here, the Janus. Interesting. We do not have control over it though. Uh, why do I get a bad feeling about this? That this is like some sort of we're gonna end up being dragged into huge political yes, mushu here. No clue. But let's go ahead and Understood. prep all of these guys for basically running over towards us. Understood. Bunch of civilians. Uh, Cause I have a bad feeling that this is gonna turn really bad really fast. All right. So first things first. Let's launch. Yes, sir. Everything. You're going combat mode. Probably set you to defense mode. Um, the Anuket is launching yes, both of theirs. You're going offense mode. I'm going to have you move forward and then down. Next, we're going over here. Yes, sir. Combat mode. Let's just go down the line and do combat mode first. Combat mode. Combat mode. Combat mode. Combat mode. Combat mode. We're actually going to have this guy go down a little bit as so well. We He's all. just going to kind of float near the battle star. I don't want to put him directly over it, but, you know. Alright, you. Everybody's launching, launching alert, fighters. all their fighters, etc. Alright, so we're good on that one. Let's go ahead and get the movement rolling. <clears throat> Alright, 
adamant wall is set up and good. I'm gonna have the battle star kind of move like this. So say all we right, all. we're good. We don't see any enemies as of yet, so this could turn nasty quick. Those look like some pretty big ships. I'm not really sure what those are. 95s. They're bigger than adamant. I thought this event was supposed to be fancy. Don't besmirch history, Helena. Those hulls have survived more action than any other ship still flying. Jaina's cruisers were prolific during the Imperial Wars. I served aboard one myself for a small time. It is a strange choice for a memorial centerpiece, however. We don't make them like that anymore. Would have taken a nuke to get through that many layers of armor. Unfortunately, they were plentiful back then as well. Hmm. Alright, so... Over here... Making our civvies retreat over towards the Daedalus is not a bad move. And there is a reason for that. It's mainly because that's where our center of defense is. Here we go. Let's keep on going. Yes, Commander. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Understood. Okay, Battlestar is moving down yes, yet Commander. one more turn. This guy is moving down as well. In the meantime, since we're all just kind of sitting here. Sir, the lean in cruisers have launched munitions. I thought they were supposed to be decommissioned. Commander, move the fleet to intervene and protect those civilians. Okay, so, uh, we just lost- Admiral, I cannot allow you to destroy those cruisers. With all due respect, your highness, that is not your call to make. Whoever planned this intends to sow discord in Helios Beta and the Quorum. We will need those ships as evidence to exonerate Vergon of any suspicion. He's not wrong. There's no reason for decommissioned cruisers to have any supply of live munitions on board. The Cylons, if it is them behind it, have had help in setting up this ambush. Alright, so we just lost two of our civilian ships. Um, on it, Commander. Let's have the remaining civilians go like this. I'm going to have some raptors go ahead and defend... Okay, can you... Oh my god, this is not working the way I wanted it to. Alright, you're going to defend that transport. Um, I'm just going to have them go like this. We're going the other way. Defend that transport. Say, so we our mission is to defend the transports. We're not going to open fire on these cruisers. Uh, that's going to make it difficult. <clears throat> But no one ever said they made this game easy. All right, so we got two transports down. I'm pretty sure no matter what we do, those transports are screwed. Yes, sir. And so, yes, uh, sir. Uh, let's see here. We still have no sign of the Cylon fleet. There we go. Multiple Dreadus contacts. All hostile. Constant bearing on our position. I don't think they're happy to see us here. Yeah, I don't think they're happy to see us either. Which is perfectly okay for me. I don't care. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, start sending Understood. our ships off to attack. Let's start off with... Uh, I want to see what we're up against here. So I want to scout a couple of these guys. Uh, do -do -do -do. There. I'm going to leave two of them guarding the adamants at the moment. And you could actually head over here and can attack that one. Raptor, attack that one. And the raptor will attack that one. There we go. Bam, sis. All right. We're going to roll around again like this. 
we now have a purpose. That purpose is they're heading straight towards the yes, Daedalus. We do not want that. We Understood. do not want enemies on the Daedalus. That is just not a good day. And Blambo. They are opening fire. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Missiles incoming! Daedalus is taking damage. Ah, crap. They're... Right, my little berserk ship's about to get hit. The Daedalus is taking damage. Like I said, they're after the Daedalus, which is not cool. Okay, we got two Revenants. We've got several Nemesis. We've got a couple Talons. So let's go ahead and take you. Where are you headed? Current target is that one. You're going to change your target to their fighters. And then the other one is going to change his target to their other raider crew. Okay. There we go. I'm actually going to... Okay. You're targeting the nemesis. I want you to defend the Daedalus. Because I don't need more missiles coming in and smacking the Daedalus. That would be a bad, bad thing. Alright. The uh, adamant wall is going to go up. So say we all. Let's see. The adamant wall here is going to nuke the living crap out of this revenant yes, because he's actually heading straight at our um, shipyard, which I don't like. Ooh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Missile tubes prepped. I would say that you could as well, but I'm afraid that your missiles might hit the Daedalus, so we're gonna wait. Daedalus is under attack. And I know it's under attack. Oh look. Fighter squadron is taking fire. Okay. So we're going to take our adamant wall now, and we're gonna wrap around. We're just gonna play like real close defense here to protect the Daedalus. And they're all going to target this Revenant. Because that is indeed their first mission objective. Okay. And then you guys, you are also going to wrap around. Okay, I don't need you to be that bad. Okay, there we go. Actually, I'm going to have... Uh, you're going to hold off for a minute here. We're going to have them go On it, Commander. up. In. Can you select the damn... There we go. Jesus. Okay, yes, we're going sir. up in altitude here. Alright, these guys with their little escorts are still moving around. I'm actually going to have you move like this right now. I wonder if I'm timed to keep them protected or not. Don't know. Right, so the adamant wall. Oh, okay, what is that? Phobos? I've never seen that before. That's a new class adamant of... Adamant is taking uh... damage. Wait a minute. Aren't the fighters supposed to be protecting this guy? Where's my other group of vipers protecting them? Okay, well, uh, this guy's done for because... Yes, Commander. Oh, wow. They are trying to protect it. Okay, well, they're, it's not doing a very good job at the moment. Those are going to go straight into the Daedalus, aren't they? But yeah, see, I need to get these lined up so that we have multiple so groups of Vipers protecting them. All right, I don't know what this Phobos thing is. Um, I know Understood. that its current mission is most likely to protect or destroy the civilian ships. So we're going to have them get pulverized. What is that? Proximity mine raider prototypes. Okay. Um, now then, you guys are going to go like this. Yes, sir. Like this. 
No, I didn't tell you to move. Yes, Thanks. sir. They're still targeting this one. Yeah, that's what we want, isn't it? The Revenant? Okay. Now then, Anuket the Artemis, you're going to fire missiles. Okay, we have enemies. There we go. That guy, right there. That's what we're after. And ending Civilian turn. Civilian ship is taking damage. Trigger zone detected. Awesome. Adamant is taking damage. Daedalus is taking damage. A lot of people taking damage. Okay, so we just lost... Are you kidding me? We're about to lose the Bastet now because... Okay, we did take out one of those guys. Good. I do not want to lose the Bastet. That would be a severe tragedy. On it, Commander. Actually, I want you guys to move more like this. Because at this exact yes, moment, I need all firepower on that last on it, Commander. asshole. Right there. So let's get that going. Bastet, where's your weakness? Okay, your left side's like ripped off. I want you to repair engineering. Yes, Commander. You guys are moving like this. I want you to also target this Revenant. And we're going to make him severely suffer. So now then, I have two Viper squads defending this final civilian ship. Because, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of options. <sighs> okay. I'm hoping to God the Bastet doesn't get obliterated this round. But... Oh, this God. Incoming. Holy shit. That was intense. Okay, Nicholas so the Bastet damage. has survived. Um, These guys over here... Are pretty sure th I'm pretty sure they know they're next. Can you stop shooting at the Daedalos? Like, for real. That You're just annoying the crap out of me at this point. Understood. So whatever that other thing was, it dropped a mine. Which is kind of interesting, but at the same time, it's, you know, whatever. Understood. Alright. So say we all. You're getting obliterated here. Um, let's go ahead and have you shoot missiles at this nemesis as fast as possible. We're gonna have two of them go after that one, and three of them go after this one. Why? Because they're bothering me. Yes, Commander. And they need to die. Missiles on their way. And they did. this thing did not even get time to launch its raiders, which for me is okay. I'm okay with this. Okay, you... Raiders are almost done for. I want you to target this guy. We need to figure out who these are. What kind of cloud is that? That's the cloud that actually damages Raiders, isn't it? No, it's just green cloud. Okay. <clears throat> so if this transport dies, uh, we've lost this. Yes, That's sir. where I'm at right now. All right, here we go. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Another one of those Phobos, whatever they are. It's a new ship thing. I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm not really used to dealing with that. So, you know. This guy is actually looks like he's turning around to try and come back after this civilian ship. So I'm going to have it kind of flutter here for a minute. You're yes, going sir. to die there, monkey face. I don't care what it takes, you're going to die. Because you're after the Onyx Bastet, Commander. and I don't like you being after the Bastet. Not that I can do anything about it, I just don't like it. Alright, 
These two, however, are going to actually turn away at this moment. And we're going to come over and take care of this thing and that thing. Okay, so they've got some new ships in this. They've got this Hydra, which almost looks like a resurrection ship, but much smaller. I'm guessing this is like a super... Okay, it's a repairing ship, so it's literally going to repair holes. The Phobos over here is... I guess it's a bigger... It car it's a bigger kind of a carrier, almost. Hmm, interesting. Okay, he's... That one's done for. It's getting shot by the Artemis and everything. This guy's trying to avoid the missiles. Kinda did an okay job, but not good enough. Alright, so he's actually rotating back that way, so we're gonna keep having the civilian ship go like this. Let's have everybody rotate, give him the right flank here so for the all. Artemis wall. And do 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 I'm gonna take uh we got some raptors here. They've got some missiles. We're going to have them missile this guy. Or rocket. Yes, Commander. Same difference. And you're going to head over this way. You're basically escorting. Um, let's. The Anuket is going to missile this guy as well. Doo -doo -doo. Here we go. I just heard a zing, like it sounded almost like a... Okay. They stuck a mine in front of us. So you can, they can launch mines. That's interesting. Um, I'm not really concerned so about you all. and your mine launching abilities. So for now, we're going to go like this. Alright, that guy's dead. I'm going to have the Artemis... Um... I mean, the adamant wall. They're going to turn around. Um, we're not going to go into that mine, obviously. But the Bastet is in a severely bad situation. So, let's see here. I'm going to take these two groups of Vipers right now. And they're going to actually attack the Hydra. Yes, sir. We're gonna have the the uh, art the adamant wall kind of move back like this. Oh look, the Phobos can hack too. What is that? Proximity mine. Okay, well it is currently hacking. It looks like the Berserker, the Berserk carrier. Okay. Yes, sir. You can go like this. You can go like this. Yeah, see, that's what I thought. You guys are going to try and go into the mine, aren't you? They have their missile salvo up. So we're going to yes, use the uh, adamant wall to missile salvo that carrier thing, Hydra. Missiles do, on their do, way. Do, 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 do. Now, here's a question. I'm not sure if the... Cylons are the ones that come up with the names for these ships, or if it's uh, just our nicknames for it. That thing is getting torn to shreds, though. But yeah, it's hacking our Berserk carrier. Yes, Commander. Um, where'd that civilian ship go? Okay, good. You're staying pretty much safe. Let's have it, you Commander. turn around like this again. I'm going to have you guys do this. Yes, sir. There we go. The Bastet, who's... Still trying to repair his engineering, okay. Let's see, the Berserk Carrier also needs to start repairing its engineering. Um, you could missile as well. We'll see if it's necessary. That guy's not gonna, we're not gonna need it for the Phobos. That thing's getting torn to shreds. 
gone, gone. Okay. Hostile marks are dark. Disarmament teams are suiting up to deactivate the cruisers. All right, that was bad. You have the gratitude of myself and the first family of Virgil. I must admit, do not understand the Quorum's ambivalence towards this team. The Cylon are everyone's problem, Your Highness. Colonial Fleet is supposed to act as the right arm of the Twelve Colonies. If we don't have the consistent, unanimous support of all its members... I understand your concern, Admiral. I feel we should discuss Colonial Fleet's acquirement sooner rather than later. To your office, then. Alrighty, so that wasn't so bad. Alright, so we unlocked the Assault Viper. Um, there's Cylons everywhere. There's these timed little missions everywhere. Oof. Alright. So the third reek, reach, reek, whatever you want to call it, is going to be put back into action really soon. Um, so is the Capricorn Guardians. Let's see here. First, let's let's look at what we got to do first. Let's go to blueprints. The Assault Raptor Squadron. The Assault variant of the Raptor ECM utility craft. The external rocket pods of these ships are capable of providing significant anti-capital support. Their abilities is to fire missiles and paint a target. So if we compare them to the standard Raptors, we'll see what they look like in a minute. Alright, let's see here. So the third reach, you're going to actually jump over here and try and save Toron. Uh, what's this? A civilian freighter has sent out a distress signal after a failed atmospheric entry attempt. Go see what's wrong. That's a ton of Tilium. Um, I might go do that just to get it on. So I, let's see here. How many fleets do we have? We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten more, I think. Um, okay, so, wait, well, no, no, because so we got four fleets total. We'll count three. So I want to build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more. Sagittarion, I can't get to you yet. Um, so you are currently building two battle stars, right? Okay, one battle star. So we're gonna build the battle star and some more adamants. I could go ahead and stick up another battle star, and then we're gonna stick with a bunch more adamants. Actually, let's cancel one of those. At least one. Probably two of them. How much Tilium do we have? Yeah, we're going to need to cancel two of them. So you can wait till next turn. This guy can actually jump now pretty much it looks like for free. I'm going to have the Capricorn Guardians go after this Tilium ship. And then these guys over here, they'll just chill there for now. I mean, we Shatter could send them over Coddle's here to this mission. They still can't pin down exactly what the Cylons used in these attacks. I think the Cylons explicitly targeted Sagittarian really because they expect Colonial Fleet to hesitate before breaking the embargo. Oof. They won't expect a quick retaliation. Adjunct ruling on a confiscation operation. Right, here we Alright, so we have that one. Okay, so we're not quite in order yet. Can you, like, rotate and work with me? Okay, so you're the top dog. Up all the way. Okay, then there's the sticks. Which is our new guy, so he's gonna come in here. Oh, look, we got room for him. Barely, though. All right, there we go. Prepared to jump in three, two, one. So these guys are here to defend Tauron.
Where is the enemy? Over here to our right. There's six of them. Okay. So we know what we're up against. Yes, Commander. Let's go ahead and attack range all the way. There's six of them versus five of us. We have five adamants. I love my adamants. All right, next thing is next. Understood. Zed, Zed, Understood. Zed, Zed, alert, Piper. Zed. All right. So I'm guessing that since it, their power score was low, these are nemesis. Probably most, if not their whole fleet, is nemesis. So what we'll do is we'll lure them in close. We'll use our vipers to take out all of their torpedoes and missiles because they tend to have a lot of them. And then we will go from there. All right, we're gonna need to go up because it seems like they're a higher altitude than us. Yes, sir. Alrighty, there we go. We'll find out pretty quickly what we're up against in a minute. We have no enemy raiders, so... None of those new Hydra-looking things, whatever they were called. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, that's not what I'm looking at. Um... Okay, so you actually need to move back a touch because you're slightly ahead of the game here. So say we all. Yes, sir. And there we go. Yes, Commander. Everybody's on the exact same spot now. That's what I like to look at. Yep, there we go. Tons of missiles coming in. Missiles Tons incoming. of vipers shooting or of our... Uh, Damn, that's a lot of missiles. Okay. <sighs> okay, Vipers. Um, who are they shooting at? It looks like they're shooting at either the uh, kin or the sticks. It looks like it's mostly the sticks. So I'm going to leave this group defending the sticks. I'm going to send all of you... Over here, we need to identify them because I can't do anything until we identify them, which Squadron is annoying target as crap. Is and then one more. Go over here and identify. I already know what they are, especially considering they just unloaded a mass of missiles after us. Such a large mass of missiles that Understood. our Vipers could not shoot them all down. Yes, Commander. As annoying as that is. Yes, Commander. Alright, there we go. Alright, there goes. We got one of them on blast now. Multiple of them are on Hostile blast now. This identified. one right here, we're gonna missile. Alright, we can missile up to two of them right now. Yep, I knew it. They're all nemesis. Okay, so let's start with missling this one over here. Missiles on their way. Missile tubes prepped. To do to do okay. And then we're gonna missile this one. Then let's go down and we're gonna target. They're already looking at the one the first one that we can get, which is good. Go up again. On it, Commander. Yes, sir. We do not see any hacking going on yet, which is also good. Yes, Commander. Okay, now a whole bunch of hacking started instantly. Oh. That's two of them dead. Do 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 do. Alright, you are the leading charge yet again. We're gonna actually move them this way this time. We're kinda trying to avoid getting too close to them. Unfortunately, we can't really do anything about it because it, they are kind of faster than us, but little bit of space 
give you a massive advantage. Do not underestimate that. That goes back to my days of fencing, actually. A tiny step backwards can make a massive difference. That one's getting pelted. Good, pelt that one. That one needs to get pelted pretty hard. Okay, they're trying to close the distance now. So we're gonna rotate so we a little bit. Let's see here. We don't need to change our altitude. Not really. So say we all. Go up a tiny bit but it's not adamantly important. Okay, you're... That's why I was leading with the first one, because he was going up and everybody was okay. Okay, so you guys are still on a collision course here. You need to go up further. Understood. There we go. I don't like my guys colliding with each other. All right, so repairing the hangar hanger. Alright, there we go. Subsystem More repair missiles coming in. my guys because that one's dead and that one might die even before the missiles get there but he's he's done for it. that's a wrap guys yep missiles didn't even get there to do them that battle was pretty easy pretty simple not a big deal Okay, music, you can stop any time now. Alright, so here we are to the Tilium ship. Let's see what's going on with this. Okay, so for those of you who are aware, I'm moving the Artemis back now. I have learned that keeping them in the front is putting them much Prepare more significantly at risk of being obliterated. Two, one. That's not really something I'm cool with. Contact with objective. Civilian IFF confirmed. Hostiles are also in the zone. All right, so we got a bunch of uh, bad juju's. Yes, sir. Oh, great! There's mines all over the place. If anything, it's annoying just to listen to the little ping of them all the time. But you know, it's it's whatever. But all right, let's go over here. You don't have any controls like that. So here we are. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bling, bling. Okay. 
Okay, we're not really aware of what we're up against yet. So let's launch Understood. all of our yes, uh, vipers yes, sir. and stuff. Understood. Okay, and here we go. Why he was facing that direction to go into the enemy. Okay, we have three enemy groups of raiders. That could mean either talons or those new those new hydra thingies or whatever the other one was. All right. Um, so you're not actually needing either of your raiders, your vipers. Excuse me. Squadron target is confirmed. Let's go this way. And I'm a stick. Two of these ones, well first let's send another Viper squad after this last Raider crew of theirs. Understood. And then I'm going to stick at least one or two of these onto the civilian freighter. And the other two are going to actually defend my adamant wall here. The Battlestar itself doesn't really need that kind of a treatment simply because of the fact that it does have its uh, flak field. So say we all. So say we all. Um, okay. So say we all. Okay, we were over here, not over there. So say we all. change our altitude too much now as they're approaching us. So say we all. Ratos, Saristas, we haven't seen them in a little while. Um, we've got a bunch, uh, or we have a nemesis, annoying nemesis. Alright, so you're not really sure how we ended up like that, but okay. Yes, sir. Uh, let's see here. All of these guys are going like this, like yes, this, sir. like this. Yes, sir. So let's go ahead and they're going to missile can't missile unidentified. Yes, okay, let's go ahead and missile the second Serastus. If I'm looking at this guy, he's not missling anybody right now. Um, right now, I'm actually going to have you go down and left side flak. My only question with that is that's really close to pummeling them. So at the moment, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. Besides, our vipers are shooting down all the missiles, and they're succeeding in that. IFF confirms unit is hostile. Okay, we have a Talon that got in pretty close. His nemesis seems to think he's gotten away. You have not, so I'm gonna missiles make sure you way. don't, because I don't. I don't like you. You're ugly. That one's pretty much done for. Well, no, wait. There's only a couple missiles left on it. I'm going to actually have you then turn like this, and you're going to target primarily the Serastus. These guys are all going to target the second Serastus over there. We're going to go down. So, we're going like this and down. Down and down. 
Understood. You guys are all targeting this guy. Alright, there we go. And Blambo. So that Sarasis cannot match gunfire with that uh, battle star. This guy's trying to run. that. You're just kind of rotating around. You're going to keep the Serastus and then you're going to go after this guy next. That one's pretty much done squadron for. Gone dark. We lost a Viper Squadron. Actually, now that I think about it, this Viper Squadron. I want you to give me vision on that guy as well. Okay, so we got the Serastus. Um, you're gonna. Uh, let's go yes, ahead and have you head up. I want you to focus fire on this guy. We're gonna rotate these guys around like this. So say we all. Understood. And then there. And then there. Yes, Commander. And all of you are gonna just kill that talent. It's annoyingly in the way. Not necessary. Trying to push through our fleet to get to this freighter guy. That's all they're after. Alright, here we go. IFF confirms unit is hostile. I, I knew it. More missiles. So we can fire our missiles again. Let's do it. Missile tubes prepped. Oh, he's going over here to try and get in the cloud to get away from missile fire. Well, whatever. Start down here on the Rainier. We're just gonna missile that one. We're gonna go like this. Yes, Commander. All right, and then all of you, let's missile our current target so that we don't have to worry about him anymore. Because he's trying to go under our wall, which means we won't be able to shoot at him, which is just missile an annoying prepped. headache. And I just don't care about to deal with that. Adamant is taking damage. Oh, look, one of our adamants is actually taking damage. The Rainier, because they can shoot straight up. Really, it survived the full missile salvo. Oh, no, it didn't. There's still some missiles going after it. That guy's an annoying little poop. Not really anything I can do about it at this point either. I mean, we can 
try to rotate, but I don't think we have the time. We got three health. I'm not really sure how it dropped that fast, but okay, it did. That's, yes, Commander. that's all I need to know. Yes, Commander. Pretty sure it's Adamant dead right now. Damage. Yep. Annoying. Fortunately, I can't really do a whole lot about it. All the remaining vipers do not need to be on, well, the frigates anymore. They can go and attack because there's no more missiles. Missile toting idiots Understood. are dead. We're moving this way. I want you to missile. This one. Yes, Commander. <sighs> okay, you know what? This is gonna bother me, so you guys need to get realigned. Understood. Not happy about losing an adamant, but that's not the worst thing, so. Fortunately, that's kind of their job at this point. If you guys could go down faster, it would be really nice. Just, yes, just sir. really nice. But I don't think you can because you guys are just terrible. Okay, I don't On it, Commander. you guys at all. We have to turn. But the others don't. Okay. So. We're going to missile the one that's going to give us the most issues right now. And that's missile this little prepped. maggot right here. There we go. They're after the uh, neck bet now. That one's severely messed up now. On it, Commander. Can you guys actually shoot at him yet? Like, I don't know what your malfunction is, but you should they be at an are. altitude where you, your gun should be able to level off and shoot the dude now. Eh, maybe not. They're close. Ah, there we go. They're doing it. This guy's done for. That guy's done for. There we go, we saved the freighter. All hostiles are down. Civilian is free to move. Alrighty, everybody. So that's gonna be it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you liked what you saw, please do the thumbs up. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos. I am putting them out all the time. I am working a lot with some alpha content and some other games that are on their way to coming out. And until then, have a wonderful evening. Takahitsu, signing out.